Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka MBT, and folks, we've done it. Another Chalice Slime monthly in the books. We are done with everything but the top eight competitors. I am happy to introduce Ian on VW, Alex on Sidra, Coco Bird on Bird, Dive Missile also on Bird, Cyber VX on Drytron. Omace on VW, KB on VW, and Aerosol on Earth Machine. But more importantly than all of that, I am happy to introduce my co-commentator, Sir Eminon. How are you doing here today? Doing great. Uh, birds seeing some representation. Penguins are technically birds, so we got there, kind of. It all connects. And if you want to follow along with the Top Cut, you can do so using the link that I'm about to put in chat. I'm talking about challenge.com slash cmsj2021 Top cut now most of these individuals are already in game but we have to i guess talk a little bit about earth machine how, how do you feel about this deck so a bit of a spoiler actually aerosol recently won my own tournament on my discord server with this deck wait are you so, kidding me oh my god yeah i oh, am no. pretty stoked about this one uh, actually also check out the youtube channel because uh, they have some combos on there if you guys are interested. Yeah. But yeah, this is very, very fascinating just to watch in action. It's super recursive, very grindy. Um, it just gets the same like play every single turn because everything is like a one-card starter. Uh, so I'm super excited to cast it if we do manage to get there. Yeah, no, Um, I, I will say I... <sighs> I, I've seen a lot of the Earth Machine deck in the uh, Quarantine series now, the Chalice Line Monthly, um, and uh, we've had individuals good at it, like Staples94 has uh, topped a couple of times, bubbled a couple of times, playing like a version that abuses Super Heavy Samurai Soul Piercer, but what really struck me as uh, insane is just how strong making Anger Knuckle and passing every turn is. And we got to see several pilots over the course of today do exactly that and just wipe floors with people. And I'm excited to see if they can do it against the undefeated Volkswagen player uh, who, you know, <laughs> what can you say about that? You know, both decks actually also do have the capacity to make VFD, so we'll yeah, see if that true. actually ends up happening. <laughs> Does Aerosol make VFD in their build? Uh, they can, but usually it doesn't go for it. Mm -hmm. uh, usually just tries to end on a lot of pluses. Uh, they call their deck Doom Dozer, or not Doom Dozer, sorry, Dozer Control. Dozer Control. Doom Dozer. Oh, wow, yeah. okay. Uh, I will send you over here, but I, I've got to call it that on the title card. Dozer Control. Yep. <laughs> And for what it's worth, the worst card in Infinitrack, uh, Tunneler, has looked the best this weekend. It's like, oh, really? You can just Avarice every turn? All right, I, I guess that's playable enough. Yeah, it's crazy, because like with the uh, the trap card for Machina, the Overdrive, that shuffles some Graveyard and Banish. So you have like almost an infinite resource loop uh, with that. And then there's also other loops with like the Speedy Express, or Speedy Express Bullet Train and the Ancient Gear Box that Aerosol likes to tech. I will say, Ancient Gear, links, so. Ancient Gear Box strikes me as a card that's just begging to be broken, right? It's uh, available off of a semi-generic Link 2. It adds a card from your deck to your hand, and you can add it back, as we've seen over the course of today's tournament, from the graveyard to the hand with Speedy Express Bullet Train in order to proc mm -hmm. it again. It's just, like, unbelievable uh, advantage. Yeah, there's lots of really, really cool interactions, because uh, you mentioned the double-headed Anger Knuckle or, or, like, being a really, really strong threatening card. That's one of the ways you can uh, recycle the bullet train and just keep going. And here we go, Aerosol going first, starting off with the Mellow Cruncher. That is one of the 12 starters in this deck. So if this all resolves, then you're going to be in a pretty good spot. I, I will say, um, I like that both of these players are like, bro, I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh all day, I just want to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, uh, rough out there for the Europeans. But here, out, here, here sorry, out comes Dozer, and all right. uh, here we go. Ash Blossom is pretty good on Dozer specifically. Yeah, but uh, this deck has a fair amount of contingencies, and you know, this is all off of one card. So, oh, here comes Heavy Forward. And there's another one. Um, so we've already committed to our normal summon, but we can use Heavy Forward to get, I believe, uh, any Infinite Track. We've already got the Goliathon field. Yeah, uh, so we'll see what the choice is, because uh, all the level 5 Infinite Tracks can just summon themselves by attributing a Earth Machine. So we will see what the pick is. Trencher, I believe, is the one that's a reborn if you banish it from Graveyard. Right, so. Trencher's a reborn, which is what they're picking. Uh, Anchor Drill uh, requires a normal summon, unfortunately. 
Um, and then Dozer and Tunneler you can also summon by uh, by tributing one off. We're going to Ballista here, and I imagine we'll be adding the box to hand, followed by something else. Yep, and the level 4 infinite track, the Anchor Drill, I believe, is the usual search target, or the go-to. Mm -hmm. Oh, going for Tunneler but here. Tunneler also is searchable, so got multiple targets here. Oh, here's another Trencher? Or was this the first Trencher and I'm blind? Oh, it, uh, that it was one. the first one. The Bullet Train was used. So we'll go from the, Trencher uh, into a second one. Goliath and Trencher in Graveyard activating its effect to bring back Brutal Dozer. And Tunneler's and effect. Here. Now we can overlay for a 5 if we so desire. Yep, going for the Infinite Track rank 5, which allows you to get even more pluses. This card interacts super well with uh, the Goliath, of course. And because one thing as long that's... as it's in Graveyard, you just get resources every turn. One thing that's really impressive about this is that you know, this is not a play that is game winning. You know, there's not like a VFD on field, uh, but it might as well be. Like, there's already five uh, Earth machines in the graveyard, tunnelers already online. Like, from this position, you can just go into a bunch of good stuff, draw two cards, and say, eh, I'll probably have the resources to grind you out next turn. Yeah, absolutely. And with the ability to just draw into like various hand traps or just other resources, super, super good. And there is the, there is a the man himself, the Anger oh. Knuckle. I will say Fortress has been a real standout this week as well. Um, I didn't expect this card to ever see play ever again, except for Orcist players who were really, really deep in the pool. But uh, Fortress discard box is so absolutely crazy. Yeah, and one of the cool things too is I believe Fortress is a level 7. And with the Harvester level modulation effect, uh, you know what that means. Uh, <laughs> Fun. All right. So yeah, we're just going to make Anger Knuckles set to and pass, it looks like. And that might be enough. You know, if you have one hand trap, two pieces of interruption, one of these is maybe like uh, Machina Catastrophe. What's the name of the card? Overdrive? Um, I Yeah, Overdrive. Yeah, I literally said it earlier and I already forgot. But yeah, that allows you to get access to a Citadel, which is basically just a big board wipe on your opponent's turn. And for anyone who thinks that like, oh, Anger Knuckle Pass is going to be, you know, nowhere near able to keep up with uh, anything their opponent is up to. I urge you to keep an open mind. This thing is insane. Yeah, it's so unassuming, but it is very, very strong, uh, especially if your opponent is setting cards and passing. Awesome. <laughs> That's VW, baby. I love VW. You can go undefeated. You can win every game all day. And then as soon as you're on camera, you're like, shit, I drew nothing. <laughs> Set yeah, we Ash Blossom Pass. Lili, 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 Chuche, and Talents. <laughs> I, I don't understand how people play this deck. Obviously, it's good, and, you know, it's the most represented one here, but, ooh, wow, trying to go to the end phase to bait the Anger Knuckle because it can only be activated during main just to fire off the triple attack. Let's go! Oh, well, and one additional I set. I don't know how much follow-up this is going to be yet. <laughs> Broken. Sick follow-up. Oh, God. Okay, so uh, from this position, there's so much you can do. Um, the Speed Express Bullet Train on field means that when it goes to the graveyard, we'll be able to add box at end of turn and go even further. Uh, just removing the on-field stuff kind of puts your opponent on gotta-have-it combos. Uh, VW setups usually require, like, at least two cards in hand, so if you can keep them to that, you might be screwed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and our VW pilot's saying, how the fuck is VW topping? This deck sucks. <laughs> Literally, every time I sit down and try and solo these hands, I just I just get the most unplayable garbage. <laughs> it's so it hard. It is truly perplexing. It's so hard to commentate, too, because it's like, okay, so here's the line. You know, they do the line. But if they don't draw the line, you know, they're just kind of fumbling. They're like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe this resolves. And you just have to act like that's something a tier one deck does. All right, yeah, two really ash explains the brick. Yeah, getting asked for two turns in a row, but... You know, it really does it does not matter at this point. <laughs> oh my! Yeah, River Stormer should be Goliath. There's the interaction because Goliath can then put itself under the River Stormer, so you get another Ooh. surge. Oh, but called by the grave, not too bad. Called's good, but wow, feels so terrible to waste that on something that's not named Anger Knuckle. Yeah, and I mean, again, like these can these can come back no problem because of the uh, overdrive recycling. So, are we gonna see the the attack <laughs> with Speedy Express Bullet Train? Popping like Anger Knuckle Heavy Ford. Oh, it's a set GG. <laughs> Get owned. He's doing it! Yes! <laughs> oh, its effect is negated, of course. Got negated off of the uh, Anger Knuckle. I'm so good at Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> There's like a big red X on the card, and I'm like, oh, wow, you're going to have to send <laughs> your whole board. Yeah. Well, 
We will see what VW can do. All right, well, there's right, a, there's chase a to start. Any VW. Good. There's Lala. Good enough. The worst one, you got it. And here's where the cosmic comes down. Okay, good. Right, right, we, we are going to bring back Gigi. That's not bad. And we've got the Chinglong in Graveyard. We can activate that to get Lulu or Kieran, whatever we're missing. Yeah, <laughs> curious as to what the back row is here. Chat says, Return of Pac-Man. Pure anger, knuckle, munches, all noobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is really bad. Uh, Shen Shen with the anger knuckle on field is like, oh, well, sure hope that doesn't go to the graveyard. Yeah. But, I mean, again, there's just ways to recover resources, so... Here comes Lulu. Pitching oh, the game. And uh, another hand trap. Yeah, that's pretty much what your hands look like if you're unable to make a play. All right, targeting Chuche. I mean, this is fine. You know, two turn Kaloon. Yeah, we can pick up another. We can pick up a Lili here if we want to go for another nine synchro. I, I have no idea what those set cards must be i thought it was the machina overdrive when would you fire it after the lili yeah maybe i mean maybe you just wait for bw to commit their entire hand and mm -hmm. then you just fire off the overdrive grab citadel uh wipe the board end phase grab bullet train add box get another search just do it all over again next turn seems decent the citadel is definitely the glue that keeps this deck together like it's got a couple of like cards that just nullify a bunch of advantage and that is the most powerful of them yeah citadel has like such cool interactions too mm -hmm. um with just like the rest of the deck since it comes back from graveyard when your other earth machines get destroyed yeah this is this is the frustrating part if you wait for them to commit to a synchro now they have the material in the banish zone to turn on the chuche right because uh they shenshin of course so we'll see if see what the response is going to be i am also curious as to the fact that you know overdrive just wasn't flipped right there mm -hmm. i feel like there has to be some sort of response at this point it could be like I i'm trying to lab out what the set cards could be i'm like forbidden droplet i maybe there hasn't been a fantastic time to activate that could they be bluffs? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you also can't uh, be dropletting the mon or monsters away right now because of Shen Shen. So. Right. Going to battle phase here. All right. Uh, down goes Anger Knuckle, and to the banished zone it goes. It's least favorite place. I'm so surprised those back row don't appear to be anything, at least for the time being. We see Storming. There's Droplet. Curious Droplet. Gonna have to do it from hand, but it is good enough to make the Shen Shen go to the graveyard off the Anger Knuckle. Waiting until damage to do it so you can't Chuche in response. Definitely not bad. It could be a lot worse. It's gonna stop the VFD too. Just really sucks to not get the uh, bullet train in the graveyard. Oh, and we're gonna go for the Arceus? I have not seen this card's other effect result. Oh, oh, that was just... <laughs> Misclick FML. Oh, activate right above attack. Oh, that is devastating. The you classic. probably have to hit the back row, right? <laughs> They're going for the Speedy Express. Yeah. Don't worry. And after, after the Shen Shen leaves the board too, so now it actually goes to the graveyard. And, and our... it's no longer on 2k attack, so it's just going to die. The... Oh, oh that's, no. that's rough. It, All right. It's one of those things where like, you fumble your hand and then you're like oh shit and you keep fumbling and it's like oh no yeah it just it's all downhill now <laughs> you can't even like now profitably just, chuche yeah. at end step you yeah. get the box back jesus yep so yeah box can be added back which can add the uh the anchor drill and Anchor Drill Box is cool because I'm pretty sure Aerosol is on uh, Dengirisu. And since that can attach any machine, you can get back your banished resources too. Mm -hmm. So it's like cool, cool synergy. All right, we're going to trigger Box here. See what we get. Going for Anchor. God, this is so sweet. 
funny. If you'd asked me to cast this matchup like two weeks ago, I would have known literally what zero of these cards did. <laughs> and now you're like, uh, yeah, I actually have a very in-depth knowledge of anger knuckle loops. Yeah, this deck is like really sick. Oh, and it looks like we have our first result. Uh, KB, who was on VW, has uh, beaten Lesser Leonard. Jason Leonard has dropped 2-1. They finished three games in that amount of time. Uh, so no Drytron in top for Sag. Well, out comes the, uh, the gearbox as well as the anchor drill. Anchor drill trying to now level modulate. So this is kind of your last opportunity to Chuche, and it's not even great. Yeah. It's now or never. So we can also chain Anger Knuckle to this if we want to. Yeah. God, this card is just so absolutely bonkers. Oh, <laughs> the bird players are playing against each other. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's rough. At least one of them will be in Sebs. Yeah, that's, hey, that's pretty funny. Man. One of the cool interactions too with Anger Knuckle, as if it wasn't broken enough, is that um, Urgent Schedule has another effect that most people forget about, where if it's set and then sent to the graveyard, you get to search for, I believe, a level 10 machine. So you can set your Urgent Schedule and then use Anger Knuckle's graveyard effect to uh, send the set Urgent Schedule from Fields of the Graveyard to get another search. Hmm. So it makes a card that like might be dead later on into an actual plus. Ooh, we're having a quick conversation, trying to figure out if the cards from Chuche will shuffle back into the deck if the card isn't destroyed. The answer to that uh, the answer is, is yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, it shuffles first, and then uh, you destroy the target. That is a conditional then, right? So if you can stop the shuffle, it won't destroy. I don't know how you would do that. Yes. Uh, you chain burial from a different dimension. Broken. <laughs> All right, out comes the Fortress, and yep. we are very, very close to lethal. This is, if not it, it will be. We don't have a second box, no. Oh, yeah, no, no way. All right, so we're at 5k, Chuche's off, but it's also face up. So any, any decent enough virtual world off the top might do it. And by do it, I mean prevent them from dying immediately. Yeah. And then there's still that uh, that unknown set card that I am very curious as to what it is. Yeah, it's like we've kind of lapped out everything it could be and have no idea. Um, didn't add box back there. Decided to add Harvester instead. Uh, there's a Shen Shen engrave. Does that turn yes. on the Chuche? It does. It should. That's pretty good. Set is card is called. Is... Calling it now. Yeah. No. Oh, if it was called, <laughs> that would, that would be have so been so good. That would have been devastating. Chat says House of Adhesive Tape. No, I don't think that's likely. There's also a Qinglong in Grave here, so... Oh, really? Definitely definitely not out of this. Okay, we've got, we've got plays. Here Limiter. comes Lulu. It was Lao Lao the draw. Ooh, pitching Lao Lao. Wow, that's... Uh... That's rough. Yeah, definitely not ideal. Hmm. I'm like pretty convinced at this point that it's not overdrive, but you never can be certain, I guess. It would be the latest overdrive in the history of time. Yeah, it would be crazy. Does overdrive have to, or does Citadel have to send to the graveyard? I think it does, right? Uh, Ooh, I would have to read the text exactly. I will pull it up. Citadel reads, let's see. Quick effect, you can target one machine you control, destroy that machine monster and all monsters your opponent controls with less attack, or with attack less than or equal to it. So it doesn't oh. have to specify going to grave. Okay. It's a straight up board wipe. Out comes Yan, and here comes Alalo. That was searched off the Lulu. This is a game that I really did not think was going to get this far. <laughs> yeah. 
in the time it took for the other people to play three, uh, this is still game one. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have Vermilion plays, we have Stardust Charge plays, we have Gossip Shadow, mm -hmm. Fortune Tune if we want to go for Zeus. So we are going for Charge first. So we know the card in hand is the uh, Harvester. Yeah. How comes Vermillion? And that is a loaded banished pile. <laughs> wow, yeah. What do you hit here? This is difficult. Like hitting Anger Knuckle Rocks because it's banished. Hitting the back row, I guess, is pretty good, but it's they've had so many opportunities to fire something crazy. Yeah, really, really scratching my head at that one still. Yeah, they are going oh, for the back guess row. We finally get to figure out what it could be. Solemn. Give me a strike. Ar Aerosol was on Dinomiscus for a while because they were playing Trap Trick, oh. but I'm not sure if they're still on it. I know they're still on Trap Trick. It's Droplet. Ooh. Okay, so double Droplet were the sets. Not that much. explains a lot. That does explain it. Because Droplet is really terrible in this matchup. Uh, I guess we hit Shen Shen. Yeah. It yeah. at least insulates the Anger Knuckle. Yeah, but we're actually kind of running low in resources. <gasps> no way. No, wait. No <laughs> way. Nope. Oh, okay. A monster effect. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was, right, 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 I almost right. lost my shit. I, I remembered effect. I didn't remember monster. Yeah. That's the effect of Machina Fortress that resolves maybe once in about 7,000 games. It resolved today. <laughs> we saw it resolve Did today. it actually? It wow. Was, it was game winning. <laughs> it got thought seized. It was crazy. You hate to see it. Well, here comes uh, the bullet train back, but... No more interaction. All right, combat. You can walk over the anger knuckle. That's like fine, I suppose. I mean, to be fair, VFD calling oh. Earth seems pretty pretty strong. <laughs> I don't know if I would even have hit the bullet train there. Oh, unless you're you going to activate VFD, VFD this at end turn, phase, yeah. yeah. No reason to keep turn, changing around. Next turn. Yeah. Could have also Chuchayed to raise the Lalo and then keep Shenshin on board too. I think that would have been worth it. Wow, refusing to oh, do it now. Wow. This is interesting. The, uh... You kind of force them yeah. not to pick box, right? Because if they pick box, uh, you can chain. It targets on activation, right? Yes, it targets machine. Have they picked it? Yeah, that is pretty interesting. Yeah, they have it. Yeah, it's going to be hard to beat VFD Chuche at this point. Yeah. Going for a Harvester, it looks like. And well, of course... it's going to be a, it's, it's going to have to be an insane top deck here. <laughs> Ironically, now you'd want the droplet. Yeah. Uh, not, <laughs> not even then. It wouldn't resolve it, I think. All right. The crazy thing is, Virtual World started by setting GG and called by and passing. That that was insane. That was, I mean, obviously the uh, Earth Machine deck is incredible and it, insane shouts out to Aerosol TCG and their associated YouTube account uh, for pioneering this strategy. But the Virtual World player played out of his mind. Like he played extremely well and was rewarded for it, despite I like. Think bouncing back from a game losing misclick <laughs> yeah oh yeah that was actually crazy too and i think the uh the ash on the dozer two games in a row or two turns in a row rather oh yeah was actually uh more impactful than it might have initially seemed uh the call by the grave on the river stormer too because that cut off like just a continual way to get like plus one every turn all right chat time to uh time to bet Oh man, gonna be pretty interesting. 
Oh, shoot, I didn't type fast enough. Now they're going to be able to figure it out. <laughs> Aerosol says <laughs> I made so many misplays I could cry. Relatable. We have all been there. Oh, well, going first again. I guess uh, another attempt at it. Yeah, VW packing plenty of hand traps, as we've seen in game one. Who won game one, they ask? Uh, it was Virtual World. And it's still pretty, it's 50-50 it's for the most part. <laughs> People, oh no, there it goes. VW pulling away. I'm, I'm going to be really upset if we don't ever get to cast Alex on a Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragon, right? Yeah, that would be cool to watch. The, the deck is extremely cool. It's got Dogmatica stuff in it as well. Does it have your spiciest tech, Watt Fox? <laughs> no. Uh, Aerosol, Shame. if you're listening, Dara Crane has OCG rulings on Nido Pro. In fact, I'll type it. There you go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Edo Pro uses OCG rulings for pretty much everything. They actually just added the ability to choose TCG rulings. Uh, really? I, I am tentative about it. I was like, you know what? I will wait until uh, we're sure that it's stable before we start using it. Fair, yeah. So it's like but Harvester, Derek Crane, that's a strong start. I know Omega was like, we're doing up-to-date TCG rulings, and I'm like, that sounds like a disaster. Like, what if someone in Ooh, Oklahoma here... rules incorrectly? So here comes Droll. I'm not really sure if that's going to actually matter. It's I mean, going to stop, like, the Ancient Gear box plays, but... It stops the Dozer, needed. too, right? Uh, Dozer specials, doesn't it? From Are deck? you kidding me? I remember. The fuck? Yeah. This card is crazy. Yeah, it does. Is wild. What on earth? So I understand playing the droll. You know, it, it it's really good against pretty much specifically box. Wow, gamma coming down on the dozer. Jesus Christ! Two turn ending hand traps. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. I I should not have. I should not have doubted you. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> A psychic soldier that rides in a battle against the security forces on currents of lightning using an autonomic amplifier called Psyframe. The oh man, <laughs> there he is. Oh this is this God. is how VW opens. Literally, yep. this is every VW hand: two hand traps and driver. Yeah. Uh, looks like we're. This is just sad. Going for the uh, the Dora at end step, so we can fire off the. Bullet train, try the dozer play next turn. <laughs> or just harvester search it. Same yeah. thing, really. It, you know, it really was a psychic soldier that. Uh, there goes chat. <laughs> All right, there they are. Yep. All right, we're gonna uh, normal summon Lulu. It's normal Lulu. So you target the yeah, Lulu with the... a VW. Oh, this is kind of screwy actually, because Dare Crane will activate on a new chain. Yeah. You could just do it right here on this window. Yeah, it looks like that's what they're going to do. Yeah. Uh, that's. I do not hate that. <laughs> I think that's fine. It, it's hard because, like, it turns on, like, the triple tack and stuff. But, yeah, yep, oh. and there it is. Yeah. Well, it was uh, either a big bait on Ian's side or just, uh, you know, oh, man, Long, inevitable. Jesus. Up, oh, Chinglong Lulu. Oh, it was not a bait. The hand was Lulu Lulu. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Which is actually a full combo. <laughs> like, Lulu Lulu is straight up VFD Chuche, which uh, is kind of crazy. Uh, it's something. <laughs> All right, so I guess send Nian actually to search Chuche. Sure. The other card drawn off tactics must have been. Oh, okay. Oh, Season. there we go. <laughs> there it is. So we can send Shing Long. Go for Nyan. Out comes Nyan. Now, if they hadn't drawn into Ching Long or Kaloon, I guess, this would have been the end of the turn. Yeah, that's, I don't know, six cards. Yeah. All right, here comes the starter's charge. Oh. <laughs> I hate this, that you get to put the driver back. I hope they drew the driver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the funnier thing is putting the driver back in the graveyard with uh, the Shenshen effect. 
Oh, oh and hard wow, drawing wow, the level. Not the even top. having a Ching Long. For... Okay. Easy. Slow down there, bucko. <laughs> so so simple, you know. Just draw all the cards you need. <laughs> it's easy. I will say every one of this uh, VW player's hands has been like, "This is the worst hand I've ever seen." I this this hand fucking sucks. And then three minutes later, we're like, "Yeah, and that's full combo. Uh, that's yeah, that's VFD uh, Chuche." Oh boy, you uh, you really hate to see it. Yeah. So, Infinitrack Goliath does bestow a power upon a uh, Dora, right? It can't be destroyed yes. by card effects. That is correct. That's cool. Although it's actually kind of hard for VW to actually just get over this card. <laughs> you have to buy some time with the, the very fun dragon. Especially with Chuche, right? It kind of sucks that it doesn't have one more material under it. Well, we get to resolve GG too and add back Lulu. Yep. And I will say, you know, VFD often is not fantastic. Uh, wow, is it ever good against this deck? Yeah, and Calling Earth is just... turns off everything. <laughs> and that is a rough one. I feel like this matchup is... Got to be pretty tough for the Earth Machine deck. I'd imagine it's bad, yeah. You're like very grave reliant, so you lose to Shen Shen, and you're also monotype and have no flexibility, so you lose to VFD. Yeah, and also just the billion hand traps. Yeah. And just passing turn. Just like, all right, we're going to have to wait a couple of turns with VFD. How do we... Uh, the uh, the Goliath there is pretty nice because it is insulation against Chuche at the very least. But does it? How does so it's it a work? silver lining at this point. How does it work with Qinglong? Because it is a gained effect. So if you negate the effect with Qinglong, what happens? Uh, if Dora is already resolved, you mean? Or uh, no, like if you just on this board fire Qinglong targeting Dora, what happens? Uh, if they chain the Dora, then Qinglong won't negate it. But if you go chain link one Ching Long targeting Dora, chain link two Dora target itself, and then you chain link three Chu Che, because it will have to detach the Goliath. Yeah. Then that's a way to deal with it, I think. I think so. I mean, I don't know. It is a gained effect. I don't really yeah. know how these work. It's similar to like a Dweller and like VFD, mm -hmm. where it's like once the effects already applied, like you can't apply effect negation to it. But if <laughs> It's like in a chain, and like you're chaining the effect, then that's uh, the effect will go through, of course. God, I love this Earth Machine deck. I'm, you're going to have to stop me from like buying Dara Crane. Oh. <laughs> Pitching Dark Ruler. Man, these cards actually are not very expensive. I was looking at the prices the other day. They're not, they're not bad. I don't know if he's on uh, Liba. Liba's still pretty money, right? Oh, true. Yeah, but. We've seen Liba very, very like infrequently. Once. It's weird because Trains was like a super expensive deck because the extra was so silly. Um, yeah. But this isn't really Trains. Oh, that, definitely not. I'm pretty sure the list that Aerosol was playing in my tournament was one Dare Train, one Bullet Train. <laughs> awesome. Yep, and uh, Subidor is just going to sit there, which is fine because, uh, again, that interaction earlier... Uh, would have just let it be susceptible to the Chu chase, so just letting the Goliath persist under it is at least forcing VW to still out it somehow. Chat, you heard us. You heard it here for, uh, first. Buy out double-headed anger knuckle. <laughs> There's one printing. It's a forty-five cent card. You only have oh, to buy yes. out eight thousand copies. Pretty, pretty simple. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, this is... It's weird because the Infinitrax, I remember, were money because they came out in a one of the deck build packs. Uh, so even though they were, like, nothing, uh, they were played in nothing, they were still expensive. Uh, then they got all reprinted, I suppose. Oh, actually, yeah, chat's right. Um, 
The Libre did get reprinted in the newest uh, Legendary Duelist set, the one that came out this oh, like weekend. Yesterday? Oh, broken. Yeah. So, yeah, Libre is sitting at five bucks. <laughs> MBT, if you not learned from the Fish Link video, people will literally buy out anything. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Fish. Oh, God. All right, so we're going to go uh, Lulu for Kaloon, and hard to imagine that this is anything but the end of the game. They actually just let the Qinglong resolve on the Super Dora, which is probably... That's actually really smart, right? Yeah, we were mentioning that earlier, right? Because Goliath is giving you protection, so if you I... chain the Dora and detach it, then it just gets popped by Chuche. So but here he's... now... Does it have protection? Yeah, I, can... <laughs> I, I don't know. It's still... Yeah, it still does, because it's the Goliath that's giving the effect, but Juju <clears throat> bypasses it, because it just sends, so... Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, now it's a, a sitting duck. It is so weird that, like, obviously VW is crazy strong. It's so weird that Juju just exists, and, like, what's what's the rank 3? Jaja? Yeah, Jaja. They just exist in the archetype, they're crazy powerful, and it's like, yeah, of course, they're super strong, but I want to go into VFD. Yeah, man, Juju is so sick. It's because this card is like super cool to play like around Dragoon too because <laughs> it just doesn't die. Don't have mats for Juju. No, wait, wait really? There's second. no way. Has to be same type and attribute with different names. You know, there's only two Lulu. How about that? Huh. Okay. Well then. <laughs> Are we going to have to... Well, actually, technically, if Shenzhen was still in Graveyard, that would be the uh, second Wind Psychic. Uh, they're asking, mm. does P Goliath Protect still apply? Aerosol says no. Oh, it doesn't? Oh, maybe I'm wrong about that then. I don't know. Someone's... Well, I mean, we may find out. <laughs> it's it's kind of like a free Chu chase. so if you want to... Oh, wait, yeah, it. wait, no. That makes sense, because uh, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, if, like, Dryden gets negated, then Whiptail doesn't apply to it. Yeah, yeah, so it's not giving you protection. Ah, this is... This is such an interesting game. Like, I didn't expect there to be, like, this level of, of depth between a matchup of, like, the clear top two meta deck and, like, this rogue strategy. But there's a lot of interesting interplay between them. Oh, for sure. All right, well, VFD gonna be making its presence known. God, this card is really a card, man. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it really do be VFD. <laughs> and everyone was convinced this card was Gonzo. Uh-huh. I mean, I don't think I was convinced it would be Gonzo. I was convinced it should have been. Oh, 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 yeah, without without a doubt. <laughs> it's like, they'll probably keep it alive to sell VW, but... No, it is not very... Actually, cool. I'm pretty sure I said that in my prediction video. I was like, yeah, I, I think it should be hit, but it's not gonna. Yeah, I stole that uh, belief from you. <laughs> oh, well, here comes yeah, the here's pop the chain. The, uh... Yep. Yep. Aerosol says GG's, and I think that is probably it. Holy guacamole. Well, at least they can get some rest now. Oh, Dora gone... You know, it's frustrating. A very impressive run. Like, it really, was an really impressive good. run. It was a really impressive run. And this format is super interesting. It's got these cool corner case rogue decks, but for this, like, one super centralizing card. Yeah, it's like there's... <laughs> We've returned back to the point of last format, where, you know, the the format under the format is super diverse and interesting, but then you have just a couple of warping cards that are individually just classes above everything else. At least this time it's one and it's a known quantity. Like, it's not like it's impossible <laughs> without VFD. Yeah. It's just annoying. Well, All right. We're getting in for game with uh, Juju. And there it is. Uh, our first of the top eights done. That is going to be a 2-0 clean but hardly quick from Ian. Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka MBT, with the top four 
of the 2021 January Chalice Slime Monthly. Uh, man. Here they are. Your top four are duelists. Dive Missile on Bird Up. Ian on VW. Omes on VW. And KB on VW. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Sir Eminon, you got anything to say? This. This. This is Yu-Gi-Oh, all right. Now this is dueling. Oh, God. Well, you know, I... I don't know. I, I do appreciate that the most competitive deck and the best players did make it to top cut. Like, that's important to me, you know, in terms of maintaining some level of credibility. I just <laughs> wish it wasn't the same deck over and over again. Ah, man. And, you know, this isn't even Blazing Vortex with uh, Shuang Wu, where the deck gets even stronger. Yeah. Well, um, I... Yeah, I have nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. We got nothing here. Uh, we are going to be watching the Bird Up match. Uh, I am excited to see if the birds can take it. And if they can, it will not be a closeout, which I am really praying for. But, uh, you know... Uh, a lot of that is up in the air. I, I imagine VFD is quite good against this deck. Oh, gosh. I don't know how this is going to go, but I can't imagine it's going to go favorably for our winged overlords. I'm going to banish a light in the dark. Uh, Lazy Heliolisk. Heliolisk. Thank you for the subscription. Um, I don't know. I have faith in the... Uh... The heart of the cards. <laughs> In VW drawing unplayable, but actually unplayable. <laughs> I actually do have pretty pretty good faith in that. I mean, that's all but guaranteed. At least one of these games, the VW player will brick. It just has to be the right one. Well, you know, as long as GG, or set GG, set call by the grave doesn't randomly win the game again, uh, should be pretty good. That was actually extremely surprising. That that won that game. Uh. <laughs> Ian says, MBT, why you got to give me feature every time? I am just embarrassing myself. I don't worry about it, man. Um, I think you're going to be just fine. <laughs> well, if uh, Edo Pro is displaying correctly, at least for me, it looks like Dive Missile is going first. Uh, I hope that that is the case, but set one card makes me think that it isn't. Oh, no, it is. Whoa, oh. that is not what you want to spend your normal on. Normally, yeah. Normally, the Sapphire Swallow. Oh, oh good. my oh, God, oh, no. Good. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Not like this, no. Oh, not like this. <laughs> not like this. We asked for the VW player to brick, oh, and then no. this app. Oh no, normal summon the end. I don't even gonna reveal what could, what could the set card be that would stop this? Oh gosh, I don't know. It's like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Dive missile says, I'm sorry, MPT. That's fine, dude. I mean you're you're playing bird up. It's the worst deck in top four. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, let's see. Solemn strike. It's going to have to be the equivalent of Law of the Normal on your opponent's turn that also shuffles back their graveyard. I was like, that that wouldn't be enough, yeah. <laughs> dimension Barrier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what do you call a Dimension Barrier? Okay, okay. All right, okay. Oh. DD Crow, we'll, we'll stop the, the Qinglong. We're, we're getting there. It's okay, but they can send another one. I mean, I guess you would call Synchro with Barrier, but then they make Zeus. <laughs> Jesus. And VFD. And then... Oh, I don't know. Biased casters? Yes! Of course! If you're saying we're biased against the closeout finals, you are absolutely correct. I don't I don't know about you, but uh, I've watched enough VW mirrors already. Yeah. You have a series where you watch high-level DB. You, you probably live for VW mirrors. 
Oh yeah, I, I I stopped those as soon as I realized that those got those videos got literally fewer than a thousand views, and I'm like, all right, we're not doing that anymore. <laughs> uh, sorry, friends. Uh, I realize that no one likes to see VW. So, out comes Lao Lao, back comes Nian Yan. Uh, no interaction. Oh, we have a second DD oh. Crow. Well, that explains the hand. I mean, the hand was so strong that Qinglong doesn't even really matter that much. This, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if the DD Crows are pulling in work. The, the card in hand would have to be the yellow one, and then you bring back Sapphire. Oh, no, even that's bad. My goodness, this is just abysmal <laughs> i feel so bad yeah it was double dd crow sapphire called awesome grip dude i mean what can you do five cards in hand still by the way yeah all right there's Here shen comes. shen 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 if we have Gigi or Lili, we are going to be able to just make VFD. And we'll pop the uh, Link Haribo. Trigger Nyan Yan. Shuffle back one of the face down cards. Very cool, Kanye. Oh. Huh? Hold oh, up. Not the end of the game. Okay, so if the set card is Chuche, it probably is the end of the game, but we can we can pretend like it isn't. Yeah, we can we can just conveniently ignore it. Maybe they set a forbidden droplet. Maybe they set desires. <laughs> yeah. All right. Come on. Let's see it. Dive missile. We're we're. I'm betting it all on you, baby. Just gotta bet that the set card is exactly nothing, and those four cards in oh, hand are also nothing. That's Here's insane. King Kabayo. King Kabayo's really that's... good. All right, bring back the Sapphire Swallow. Okay, it resolves. So we can go into the rank one and get the yellow. That I mean, that seems all right. All right, all right. Oh, oh going for his Zeus play. Oh, I like this. Saying, all right, better have it. <laughs> it has to be exactly Chuche. Well, you could actually chain the Assemble Nightingale to Chuche. Oh my god. And it, it also, you probably have to have the read that it's not Chuche because hitting Kinkabayo is insane. Mm -hmm. hold, hold the phone. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, hitting Kinkabayo actually would have been crazy. <laughs> I forgot it has that restriction there or that condition. Mm -hmm. but Wow, you, you just don't remember the effects of Kinkabayo? What the heck, dude? I thought you were a professional Yu-Gi-Oh caster. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't play in the year 2000 BC. Wow, you never played uh, Piper? Nah. <laughs> dude, Piper's... Dude, I, I, man, I joined this game at the beginning of Zoo format. I, I've, oh, I've witnessed nothing but degeneracy, all right? I will say I did the, like, I played as a child and then quit when Dad came out, and then I got back in, like, end of monarch format uh so you might see some history videos in which i'm playing dog shit nothing nice all right kinkabayo has converted into zeus and folks we did it the boy is back i don't i don't know if you do it now you probably wait until your opponent's turn because if you do it now then they just bring back shen shen it was chuche the issue what the fuck it was chuche yeah. the whole time all right okay oh, well you know, maybe Ian also did not realize that uh, King of Bio has additional text on it. All these players have not read King of Bio. Uh, Ian says, I did not read King of <laughs> Yep. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, there's Shen Shen in the graveyard now, and this Zeus is no longer alive. I think we might be in a bit of a, a bit of trouble. Mm. At least Zeus lives. You know, that's yeah, something. It's uh it's a labyrinth wall pretty good oh uh, what is the last remaining card in the hand if the last remaining card in hand is the third dd crow we might be able to do it that that would be 
It would, pretty... it would explain <laughs> that it. would be something. <laughs> that would be something. We could even go for Cloud Castle here if we wanted to. Because we have Chuche. Ah, uh, well... Hate oh, this. I hate this so actually, much. That actually might be the play. Card in hand is Gores, says chat. I don't think that's very likely. I think that, uh, in fact, it isn't very likely at all. So we can Cloud Castle here. We can get back the Shen Shen or the Juju. Ooh, no, we can't. Wait, Cloud hey, Castle has it's... text? I didn't know it was an attack floodgate. Yeah. Crazy. Cool. Awesome. It's very, very relevant <laughs> against Zeus, especially. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter because it cares about level. You'd just be going into yeah. a rank one. All right. Well, there he is. Show me Ender Blathnir one time. No. Never. Woo! Ender Blathnir would have won. It just wins the game. Yeah, it would have. <laughs> All right, dive missile. You've got one turn. Okay, what do you call here? Wind. I guess dark for DD Crow. I don't know. How much can this deck get done under VFD realistically? The answer uh, is literally nothing. All right, was, cool. <laughs> for what it's worth, that's about the same as the turn one where they weren't under VFD. <laughs> oh my god. Lab Not wall like too strong. So again, we don't well, really have a really clean out. Impressive. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! This is Yu-Gi-Oh! as Kazuki Takahashi intended. How in tarnation is this happening? <laughs> I wonder if you even... Yeah, I wonder if you even go for... <laughs> for, uh, for the True King. Just be like, I just should put him on it. Everything requires activations on field and passing oh, turn. Awesome. Oh my god. Yes. I'm seeing double here. Four labyrinth walls. <laughs> I didn't know that VFD affected both players without even having to attach a material. That's yeah, even wait a minute. more broken than I remember. And this card is fair. It's reciprocal, apparently. <laughs> what are we watching? <laughs> this is this is a quality game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh <laughs> Where is the Raigeki, says chat. Okay, you've got four cards in hand. No four cards in Bird Up don't produce full combo. Or maybe they do. Oh my goodness. It's like, I'm sure there's Tri-Brigades and they want to normal the Tri-Brigades, but that prompts the VFD. But at some point, you just have to do it. You just have to be like, yeah, oh. get the other material off. Please make like a break sword or something. Or Cor fine, that. Fine, sure. I'll take it. Get us out of this one, please. <laughs> Dive missile, do you know what this is doing to my metrics? Think of the content. <laughs> Three gamma plus driver in hand. <laughs> no. Well, oh, well, amazing. Some things with VW really just never change. Well, it doesn't matter. This is enough. And it looks like Bird Up are going to lose game one, Sag. But really, this changes nothing. You have to win uh, a game where you're on the play and then a game where you're on the draw. So really, when you think about it, actually, I think Bird Up is favored from this position. Hello? <laughs> Hello? You uh, you dropped out of the call for like two seconds. That was yeah, really I weird. was I was a little sick of casting. Oh, understandable. <laughs> no, no. All right, predictions up. What do you think? <laughs> Is the bird deck gonna be able to do it? <laughs> I I've never seen a meta deck that operates like V or VW in the way that it can literally open four unplayable cards and still win. It just absolute dog shit doesn't matter. It's like, well, you know, the one card does work. It's like unfathomable. All right, game two time. Let's go. Let's dive do this. missile. Come on, you knocked Coco out for a reason. Let's see what the birds are capable of. Tanky, yes, 
<laughs> Gameplay. All, right, all right. We can actually play the game. Chat says all in on bird up. Do we have the broken combo of turquoise warbler or turquoise warbler plus fractal? Okay, well, so it doesn't matter. Ash is fine here, but it's actually not that big of a deal. Like this deck is kind of ash resilient insofar oh. as every <laughs> single card is a must answer and every single card is just part of a larger competitive strategy sending nerval here so we can add a copy of saras to hand yeah i guess that's the play right wow chat says didn't wait for nerval uh you send something else off fractar if it is uninterrupted <clears throat> sending another nerval for the saras whoa one of those hands i guess well you do what you gotta do, I guess. Can VW beat Barrier Statue? We're going for a three. I wonder where there, this is going. There wow, he is. shocker. <laughs> there he is. Chat says, Who could have yes. seen that coming? You know? Yeah, actually, Lulu, Lala, and Nian are all win. What the heck? This is <laughs> wait, this is matchup. terrible. <laughs> this is so bad. Wait, wait. This is so bad. He has to go for Avian. Yeah, that's so yeah, terrible. Yeah, you definitely can't. Yeah, you definitely cannot go for the various. Oh statue. fuck. Oh wait. Oh, oh, oh hold up. Hold up. <laughs> now, now we're talking. So no Kalu, no no King Long. They have to waste their normal. Unfortunately, we don't have something no. that just beats the normal like a piece of removal. No desires either. This actually could be good enough. That's <laughs> so stupid. So dumb. VW is like 80% spells at this point. Uh, you mean 80% hand traps? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's 5% hand traps, 15% skill, 100% uh, reason to unban last one. 99% hot gas. Yeah. <laughs> oh, chat has figured it out. Person playing anti-spell because they are boarding into Dark Simorg. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure the the build that was playing it was siding some more too. Oh, gross. So this is pretty much as weak as it gets, uh, but also probably enough. Okay, so no tuner yet. DD Crow the, Ooh, the nice. Dude, this is so bad. <laughs> this is such a fucking bad line. I I understand right. you have to do it, but it's just terrible. Oh my god. Yo. Holy Big. shit. <laughs> this is burnt up too. It just makes a really gross gummy board state. And they're like, okay, like if you don't out every single card, we will go over the top. All right. Well, what rank three can we make here? Is it going to be Gossip Shadow? <laughs> is it going to be Break Sword? Uh, it's. Ah, damn. <laughs> that face when you cut Break Sword for a shitty Beatrice meme that never came up. No! It would be oh. break sword like walk into Saras. You could Zeus, but uh, that's a lot. You could break. You could actually never mind. That's insane. Oh, here's Cobalt Sparrow. All so right, and at end step plus. we get to trigger. God. Yep. Even in matchups where you don't use the um the barrier statue, Simorg twice is just so backbreaking. Yeah, for sure. Just like the additional advantage. Ian revealing that it's Beatrice send Nail Shadal Ariel. Man, that is it's cute. funny. I mean, it's it's funny. adorable. Oh, awesome. King Cabino, you get to bring back the DD Crow. Sick top deck. That was a really good top deck there. Wow. So now you just have to find a way to do lethal. I think you can probably expect that all the set cards are either spells or like a chuche you can keep offline forever. We're going to make Resital here. I imagine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, we're gonna we we even get to pump Simorg. Awesome. I remember uh when Spyro was using this card, uh they would boost Appaloosa, but it would never be enough to I hate actually constitute card. an actual negate. I hate this fucking card. Uh I know that people dropped it pretty early because they were like, I don't want to be playing DD Crow, just give me Princess Sprite. But the couple of weeks where like graveyard decks randomly lost to mid spiral combo. And I was like, this deck is already so good. Why do you need to rub it in our faces? <laughs> oh, we even have another wing beast. Let's go. It's Nerval. Yeah. It was searched off of the, uh, 
off of the Cobalt Spiro last end phase, so we knew about that one. All right, so we got a lot of bodies. Okay, you have to be able to do lethal from here. It, it's kind of yeah. frustrating because you can't really shrike the way you want. Like, you do shrike, obviously, but if you shrike one of their monsters, you maybe turn on Chuche by accident. Oh, yeah, as it banishes. Yeah, that's kind of wild. I mean, we do have the Avion, but... Yeah. But I want to attack. Yeah. It looks like Maybe you just bash it back row out. at that point. And going for the yeah, cult. There's one of them. Blech. I'll buy. Is this still lethal? If we go for... We haven't Sarost yet. If we go for, like, the Ancient Warrior Link 2 or something? Maybe. Wait, doesn't it... Is the Ancient Warrior Link generic? I thought that was brought out by, uh... Um, oh, wait, oh, never mind. Yeah, by, you mean by the effect, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have to cheat it out with Sarah's. I forgot, yeah. Going for a three, so it'd be the Ooh, Reborn? Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, Havalsreg! Oh. Holy shit! <laughs> They're gonna okay, get it, I too! Oh my god, it's on. So it's uh, it shuffles cards from the graveyard back into the deck, and then it gets 2,400 if they don't have any monsters in the graveyard. So if you can get them to a position where something like this is happening, you can just randomly dome them for 5k. Bro, what? <laughs> it's so good. Yo, big bird! What the heck? <laughs> this is the largest fucking bird. <laughs> oh, I cannot believe man. that this has happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh this is the my. first time I've seen Hralsfar win the actual game. Usually it's just <laughs> like shuffling an Eldritch back or something. This is the first time I've seen this card hit the board. <laughs> All right, it's well, generic. that's one way to do it, I guess. <laughs> All right, we're going into game three, and you know, I, I hate I hate this so much. Like, VW doesn't give a shit if it goes first or second. It, it's just gonna, like, if it goes first, it might brick and just have to go second anyway. Uh, if it's going sec or second, sometimes it just draws two hand traps and it has full combo anyway. Like, I, I don't even know how much you care about siding for first or second. Uh, well, Bird Up is going to have to draw hand traps. <laughs> I suppose so. Pretty much only hand traps because Droplet is bad against this deck. <laughs> and like, Bird Up has so little space. It's just so frustrating. Like... Even some builds aren't playing tanky, I don't think, because it's like you want a critical mass of like exactly really? winged beast monsters. Yeah. I mean, it's understandable, but at the same time, you know, the Tri Brigades definitely put in work that game. Oh, yeah, for sure. I You just hope to draw one of the nine. Yeah. You've got a million ways to do it. All right. Well, let's see if Ian either doesn't brick and wins or bricks and somehow still finagles victory. Okay, that's a good start. Alright, well that's definitely not ideal, but... I will say it's weird, we've never seen Ian open Kaloon <laughs> like, all day. It's been like... That's the problem I have with that deck, I never <laughs> draw that card. It's like, subpar opens crazy. and it's like, it still yeah. makes VFD, you know? Yeah. Okay. Oh, does Edipro allow Nian to trigger off of that? Because... No, apparently. Oh, okay. Uh, right. that'll, that'll do it. <laughs> It's, yeah. it's a little funky, but, uh, sure. <gasps> Ooh. Broken, broken. Is enough. that enough? It could that be. might just be good enough. I mean, if you start with ZZ, you can't have another one, right? Oh, okay, well, oh, maybe. Charge. Ash this. <laughs> Fool. GG to negate, or Ching to negate your own charge. Because you've so got a definitely Chuche need to Chuche. Yeah, 100%. Okay. Okay, so all you have to beat Bird Up is Chuche. This is the this is the best possible chance you're going to have. All you have to beat is Chuche. <laughs> the grave has a guy in it. Oh! <laughs> Alright, that's terrible. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that is miserably bad. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, Fractar for zero? Uh, and of Oof. course, we had Fractar the whole time. Oh, God. Yeah. Oof. This is very crusty now. It's it's going to have to be exactly Zeus, and that's going to have to win the game. And that's going to still turn on the, Ch or the Ching Long, because it's going to yeah. send it to Grave. So. 
You hate to see it. <laughs> Maybe the actual breakout from this tournament has been Lancia. I don't think we've ever seen someone who activated Lancia lose. It's just like so crazy in every matchup. Ah, oh, man. This is... This is not looking great. The chat says if you open Brown Bird, you play through Lancia. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> All right, it is Chuche. Oh. Chuche can pop your own Qinglong, and that can help you get started. It's, it's not pretty. Oh, it's easy off the top. Oh, you draw, yeah, you draw easy anyway. <laughs> Oof. All right, it's this gotta, could very well be the end of the game. <laughs> it's got to be exactly uh, two more DD Crow. Yeah, DD Crow, <laughs> DD Crow. Uh, oh, oh, that's just oh, as that's good. It, okay. Wait, <laughs> the, the only Pretty thing good? that can defeat Lancia <laughs> is another Lancia. Wait, that's the end of the turn, right? That's pretty good. Yeah, that's we're, we're gonna get a very, shot at it. <laughs> Lancia back. Okay, so the last card in Ian's hand has to be Lancia. <laughs> yeah. Lancia mirrors are pretty pog. Chat says Shen Shen pass. You don't even have a tuner. You yeah, can't no make tuner. Shen Shen. Yeah. Well, there still is a Chuche pop, but we know... What do we know in hand? We know uh, Keras in hand? We know Keras, yeah. All right. We could, it could Shotgun just the Lancia, do it! Oh! Oh, oh alright, so it's they're, just They're waiting to summon and... the Keras. They're gonna summon Keras, then the Lancia. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's just BM. So, Chuche's fine, but like, yeah, like something like this is obviously gonna happen. You can spend your normal on any Tri-Brigade or any part of the combo. Dare them to Chuche it. You can Keras if they don't. Yeah, they, they have to Chuche. But they know yep. you have Keras. All right. Okay, come on. Let's see what you can do. This is the, la this the last Keras. card in Ian's hand. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, what do you get here? Oh, uh, man. It's going for three. It's going for a three. Sure. What's the pick? It's Simorg. Simorg, okay. It's boring, but it works. Uh, it actually... Oh, it does work on this board. It's exactly seven, right? Uh, yeah, there's seven right here. Ooh, just counting real quick. <laughs> yeah, I had to make sure about that one. Okay, so... If we could find a way to banish the fucking Chinglong out of the graveyard, we would win instantly. Oh, oh, setting it back. <gasps> oh, okay. So oh, wait, no, no, for... no. So now you got to go for a six. Yeah. Or, yeah, can't go for a seven anymore. <laughs> Dive Missile says, wait, no, no wait, no, no, wait, no, no, <laughs> oh my god, what a huge punt, no, no. <laughs> all you had to do was, well, I mean, any, to lie. be fair, yeah, Chang Long was on the board anyway, to be fair, it was gonna just negate the Avion, yeah, oh. yeah, Actually, but then again, wait, it can't be targeted, right, because of, oh, yeah, it wouldn't have been targeted, yeah. I mean, oh, no, it's, it's arguable, right, like, any, you can negate the Chuche effect in Graveyard with Avion, right? But you still have to be able to beat, like, any Virtual World off the top. Ah, oh, man. It's so sad that the Barrier Statue is just so bad in this matchup. Like, it is awful. Because <laughs> literally every VW that's good is win. <laughs> oh, man. There's Lulu. Okay. Okay. Pitching oh, Troll. troll. Uh, that explains Probably that. Probably John for turn. Hi. That is sad. <laughs> All right, well, we have Lulu and we have Chuche, which is full combo. I wonder why, yeah. Uh, hmm. I wonder why they didn't search Crow here. Oh, yeah, what was searched off of the Cobalt? It was, uh... I was looking at chat. <laughs> oh, really? Huh. Strange. No way it's the third Saros in hand. Okay, la la time. This set card's got to be a fucking banger. Oh, it's oh, it's pretty good. That decent. It's, it it's alright. It's not amazing, but <laughs> but that is the non tuner. So, so provided that there's no non tuner access, this could be good. Now, to be fair, Chuche can still level modulate. 
so we can go through like fan fan or we can, we can do the beatrice play oh <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh we're we're really going there aren't we I, right. hope, I sure hope we not. Kind of might be right. It, it's not good, right? You don't. You don't. Well, it yeah. turns off Saros because they can't yeah. banish shit if they don't have shit. Well, a lot of people are on um, what's it called? M seven. So if you M seven back <laughs> Lancia, sign it out, Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> oh my well, god. No Ariel today, but yeah, if you go into M seven and then you add back Lancia with it, you attack over something and then you go into Zeus. That's pretty good. Lancia Chuche Zeus seems pretty hard to beat. <laughs> Don't play it, kids. It sucks. <laughs> it says, uh, yeah, any six, any rank six here is just disastrous, right? Yeah. Yeah, M7 for Lancia would just be game, I think. God, M7 for Lancia into Zeus is just like such a killer. Yeah, into Zeus with the live Chuche. It's like, like, how do you beat that at that point? That's. No. Oh, going Fan Fan instead. All right, Fan Fan does Fan. target, right? It does. Yeah. So it's got to be Saros and just any guy out of the graveyard. You just want less material for the follow-up Nerval. Yeah. It also walks so, over Simorg. So you can clear the field here, which is nice. If they're playing Gaia Charger, this still makes Zeus. I mean, they've got Beatrice in the extra. Did they have room for Gaia? Uh, you know, VW extra deck space has been getting tighter and tighter since people have gotten like good more, at the deck. <laughs> like, yeah, like but yeah, better. Yeah, like Fortune Tune, I think, is staple now. And um, they do wow. Shout Fang. No, they're making good. a one mat yeah. Zeus. <laughs> so they could use okay. Chuche to pop their own card to put it under Zeus, maybe. Uh, it has to be by an opponent's card effect. Yeah. Right? I no. Yeah. Uh, I, I I don't know. One Mad Zeus, let's go, baby. <laughs> and Lancia! Let's go! Who needs M7 when you got the Lancia hard drawn anyway? Oh nice my god. Nice game. Oh, and it's so disastrous because there's if there wasn't the Chinglong in Grave, you can just pass on this board, but you have to. <laughs> Tanky, that's something. It's something, but I, how relevant it's going to be, but... I can't believe yeah, this is like, game three. This is a sweet set. Yeah. Yeah, this did, like VW is pretty interactive, like as long as it's, you know, not making VFD turn one. <laughs> so there's like lines where we still win. Uh, we can Fractar for Cobalt here and then reveal like, oh, there's no way to get the fucking Cobalt off the field. We're doing Nerval. God, but for the Lancia, we had this wrap the fuck up. We can normal summon the Nerval and then if they Chuche it, you can special the Saros. Oh, God. Now we're going for the Saros anyway. Made, it would have made the one mad Zeus look even sillier. Oh, drawing the Avion too. Jesus Christ, that's miserable. What do you even make here? Like, you I can't actually make have no anything. idea. This is, this is just sad. <laughs> These monsters are just small. We know the card in hand is Nerval, right? I think so. I, I wasn't keeping track, but... There's a Chingling in Graveyard. So, uh, God, her Valsreg would be decent. I think it only yeah. does monsters. Well, to be fair, you do have to respond to this somehow. Otherwise, you just get zeus Yeah. I do like summoning out the Saros to, like, <gasps> maybe... No, what? no, no. We have not learned from our sins game one. Wait, are you kidding me? How are we allowed? Well, how are we allowed to do this? How has this? Yeah, how has this hit the board? Wait, what? I was like, I get you know waiting on the Saras, you know using the Saras to try and bait out the Chuche, but like no one's gonna fall for it. Uh... Yeah, Chuche pop Chinglong doesn't trigger Zeus because it has to be uh, by a, an opponent's card effect. So there's actually no way to deal with this. <laughs> we'll be right back, says Chad. Ba, ba, what ba, is ba, happening? Ba, ba, ba. Uh, uh this is this is truly something. I uh, it's kind of crusty. I mean, you probably you make Zeus here, obviously. Um, yeah. But then, like, they do have the Chinglong. 
to be fair, there's God. not going to be a BW card to target with whatever they search unless they hard draw it. Yeah. But no, whatever they hard draw, they're going to have to pitch for this Chang Long search. Yeah, no, you're Otherwise, right. Otherwise, it just doesn't do anything. This might have actually just been a turnaround, like straight up. This is kind of ridiculous. I'm I'm sweating. This is so stupid. So it's it is it is kind of a turnaround, but also the other thing that it is is not very good because they're just gonna chuche the uh the Zeus on summon, so it's just gonna be top deck wars, right? Uh man, no, this is top deck wars with like two uh attempts at Chinglong. And both of these decks need like two or three cards to go off. This is just kind of crazy. Oh yeah, miserable stuff. Yeah, it's a lot. Of, a lot of misplays. Not gonna lie. Man, well, if I had known my opponent wasn't going to Chuche, I would have just kept the Saros and Avion in hand and won on the crackback. Right, but it basically begs the question, right? I mean, like, might as well go for it, right? I don't know. Yeah. I do it's like. Mine, I do like not yeah. doing it immediately, obviously. Yeah. <clears throat> Oof, this is just... Are you responding to the King Long or something? Yeah, you have to do it then, I guess. What a silly game. What a really, really weird game. This is this is just a strange one. I don't know who I like if it's in Top Deck Wars, honestly. Obviously, VW is probably favored because they have two Ching Long instead of just the one. Mm -hmm. They can do it twice, yeah. but... Um, I mean, if you draw like a Kinka Bio, you probably win the game. Wow, this this has oh, gotten. Oh, that's a really early Chinglong. This has gotten kind of a uh, out of hand. <laughs> is there not another VW in Grave? There is. To banish? Yeah, there's Lulu, right? Yeah. Yeah, getting Lulu here. Top deck was Ash. Okay. Okay, so you King Long here, right? So yeah. you have to Zeus. They have to Chu Che. And then they can't normal the Lulu because then it just sits there, right? Yeah, it doesn't do anything. That's what I was mentioning earlier. It's like the Ching Long this turn isn't going to matter. But so the, the next, next turn's Ching Long will. So at resolution, we get to resolve Nerval. Oh, yeah, actually. And then we get to add... I mean, what the fuck do we have left? We've seen three Saras. <gasps> Are oh, we wait. out of fucking Tri-Brigades? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we didn't have Nerval under it. No, no, it was... Yeah, it was Saras on four. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 that's a pass. Okay, VW has the game now. Yeah, that's it. Unless if it's Lancia. Lancia, Lancia, one time. Third Lancia. Ian simply I actually... a DD Crow. That's oh. that's pretty good, actually. That is pretty. That's good. good. <laughs> it's got to be a good top deck from Ian then. Kaloon would do it. Kaloon, Nian, Gigi. <laughs> You're just naming every single. Crow. <gasps> oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kinkabio, let's go one time. Kinkabio, Kinkabio one time. Oh, oh no, it's fuck. a set. What is that set? That's Lancia. He's <laughs> like, that's the the Lancia. Okay, no All three right. cards. <gasps> no way! This is the stupidest. This is VW. End. This is this is, this VW. is classic VW. King of Bio! Oh! King of Bio! Let's fucking go! Okay, Infip? Oh, is it Gamma? Is it Gamma? Is oh my gamma? god, it's resolving! Oh, it's resolving! Holy shit, this is the end of the game. This is the actual wow. end of the game. There's no way. Uh, we have a Link Karibo still at extra, right? It doesn't matter, right? It, would, it could be engraved too. My goodness, this is <laughs> insane. <laughs> how, how could this possibly have happened? We're going to nerve all first, like not fucking around with no Lancia. Oh. Uh, going Dude. for the Shrike. Oh my god, we're just pushing. He says, no, the game is over. I'm not playing anything. Wow, we. Wow, he is correct. Uh, we're going into Flaget that triggers nerve. We are straight up, we are straight up actually out of Tri-Brigades. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's actually terrible. Being out of Tri-Brigades is awful. <laughs> so now we have a secondary problem, which is Shrike is not really on. <laughs> oh, definitely not, yeah. Desire's oh. off the top. <laughs> Holy shit. 
Watch me W still brick. There's no way. Five cards, no fucking way. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> the suspense. No, they're they're just doing math on how to most effectively do this. They're checking cards to make sure they're not dead. No, no, no. This is no. There's there's no way it's a brick. Let's play. Guess what? I Ian vanished off design. No way, Ian. Absolutely not. No way. <laughs> no fucking way, dude. Did Ian actually banish ten engine cards? There's. It's impossible. It's it, the, if the hand is like Kaloon Kaloon and he vanished all of the targets. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is this is insane. Drew Kaloon banished every gate. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> I this think is, they can still do it. You just need a normal. Yeah, you need Nian or Shiji then, because we know. Oh Lulu right, yeah, Nian. no, you're right. But what if Ian's just out of like spells and traps to send off of a Lulu if even if there is a monster? Oh in shit. Because oh. no more gates and has Kaloon. It would have to be like a dead Kaloon, right? Yeah. Oh my god. This is so goddamn. No dumb. way. GG's. Oh GG's. No way. No god. fucking way. Okay, okay. Normal Lulu. Chuche two no. six. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god, I am saving this replay because I want to know what is in that hand. Oh yeah, we we gotta find out. <laughs> wow, I cannot believe this game. <laughs> wow, we we even Chuche get to flee pop <laughs> Chuche popping a bird was a game. Oh my god, that was so stupid. This is the first game where the player who has l played more Lancia is lost. But in their defense, Dive Missile also found Lancia. <laughs> what the fuck is this grip? What is, what's in the deck? Oh, there's the third oh, Lancia, there's baby! Lancia, okay. Oh my god. Has to be, like, Kowloon, like, Ash, and, like, Gamma or something. I, I oh my god. Welcome back to Bird Up, the worst game in top four. Boo doo doo. <laughs> I and cannot believe what I have just witnessed. Bird Up is is making it to finals, baby. Bird Up is gonna be in finals. Hey everybody, it is me, Joseph Rothschild, aka MBT, and it is now time for the finals of the first Chalice Slime Monthly. And boy, oh boy, did we get a banger, a slapper of a duel. Uh, ding dang humdinger. It's gonna be KB on VW versus Dive Missile on the Cinderella run through the 18 VW players in Top Cut on Bird Up. That's right. It is time to bird to the absolute top of the standings. Uh, and I will do so with Sir Eminon when they come back from getting a snack. They're just getting a quick snack. Uh, until then, I'm very happy to present these two individuals. Um,. We saw some really, I would say, interesting gameplay just now, and I hope that we get to see a game that rivals that one even a little bit in our final match. So, obviously, a lot depends on the uh, die roll here. <laughs> Bird Up is not particularly good going second, especially against a deck like this, though it can finagle a Zeus together. Looks like we've opened Qinglong and Lao Lao. That's uh, probably good enough. Hello, we have returned. That is, oh, that is correct. Already. Yeah, they're they're up, they're burden up. Oh, right, chat wants level? chat wants bets before they play any games. Greedy, greedy chat. Well, you know what? I'll give them to you. There you go. Oh well, bird, bird up, lost the die roll. Oh, oh! Wow, wow, pass. <laughs> Damn, if that ain't the most Lao Lao open I've ever seen. That is a classic Lao Lao open. <laughs> oh, this is a classic Lao Lao open. <laughs> Insane. Best All right. gameplay. Zero interaction. Holy shit. Saras discarding Sparrow. This is the end of the game. Oh my god. <laughs> Chat says 15k on Bird Up, and they're not lying. Kinkabayo, bring back my Sparrow. Yas.
Trigger Sparrow get another plus. Let's go. So I expected like there would be one or two cards in this unfinished kind of archetype that are only okay. You know, like the clear weak links that will be shaved as the deck becomes more optimized. And I was like, oh, Kinkabayo is clearly too cute. But it's looked crazy every single game. Yeah, like this deck doesn't really normal summon that much. No, so... no. You're either spending yeah, it on it's... like a Fractar or a Nerval or you're just not doing it. Yes, I mean... It's nice to have just a plus one. It's free. So Ash Blossom the Recital. But again, like, this is just this deck. Ash Blossom's decent, but they're searching 15 times a turn, and they don't need any of them. Ooh, there is the Sapphire Swallow, too. Oh, jeez. Big. It's getting all the monsters. <laughs> it's Nerval, too. My god. Oh, this is... Yeah, this is everything. Dang. So we get another search. We also get to climb into whatever link this is looking very strong actually yeah nerval is such a crazy card on field and making the link here the flagette just to get guys in grave like from here we can go into shrike if we want uh we can go into the three uh we could hard make shrike or we could hard make the three as well yeah, going for Shrike first, and then because Nerval is a winged beast, you can, if you so desire, use it to make the uh, Simorg with a preferential link position, so it's actually protected. We're going to Shrike, I'd imagine the Chinglong, but could also be the face down. And yep, going for the face down, it's a Chuche. All right, so I think we can keep VW at bay, realistically. Yep, and here comes uh, Simorg. Setup. Yeah. Looking very good. Uh, it's a shame we only have... Oh, no, it's still enough. We have two in the graveyard. If they're on a second copy of Flagette, they can even go summon another Flagette uh, with Saros's effect and then use Saros to make the Link 3. Skullmeister negating, I think, the Flagette, but the Nerval is the oh. one we want to resolve. Right, exactly. So that is very fine. So if we actually end on the three material uh tri brigade we can keep shrike on and banish the uh chinglong as soon as their turn starts and they'll be left with literally nothing no one card gets you out of this this is looking it's looking pretty dope it's looking pretty it's good looking like the end of the game yeah like this is really really good hand was lao lao Chinglong, Chuche. It's a classic VW. <laughs> it's a classic VW. We're getting to two here. Oh, going for the uh the ancient warrior link. Okay, fair enough. Fine. Still an interruption. I mean, we have we have a lot of plays here for sure. Yeah, um uh, this is a little crusty. You have to get Avion because the other one is ab so absolutely bad. But yeah. uh Chinglong can just prompt that out before you go for your play. Like, you kind of have to hope they draw dead, but there are very few draws that just turn it on from this position. Oh, okay. Ooh, going, going for, for the, the Ancient Warriors. I think you're absolutely okay with that, right? Yeah, for sure. And Lao Lao yeah, targeting and you just the Chinglong. Negate. See ya. <laughs> and KP surrenders. A very quick game one. Oh, Bird Up remains one game away from winning. <laughs> I can't believe it. This is this, this is VW as well. This is VW. This is classic VW. Going first, <laughs> opening Lao Lao Pass. Alright, so just gotta put one more together. All right, these next two games are going to be decided by who draws Lancia. Gigi and Lili. Sending Chinglong. Will we see the Crow? <laughs> Crow is so bad in this matchup, but you have to play it. No, no Crow, no Lancia. All right. And 86% of the chat thinks Bird Up is going to win. Wow, I wish I had your conviction. Droll! That's a pretty good one. So that cuts off Lulu access. Or, yeah, Lulu search, rather. Right. So, trying to think if there's a line to go for BFD. It's going to be tough, actually. It depends on what the rest of the hand is. The hands looked pretty good so far. 
Because these three by themselves are pretty weak, actually. What do you mean? Like, uh, Gigi, Lili, and Lulu don't actually make VFD, I don't think. I'm trying to think of a line. Yeah, I don't know. So we could send, like, Qinglong here for next turn? Has to be, yeah. That's... <sighs> We have a Chuche in Grave. Uh, you might... I guess you could Croc to try and draw into it. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's like a, a QM7 line you could do. Yeah, but there was never a chance to send a Lalo -Lal to add it back either. We are Chu Chang. Uh, hmm. The ZC. Gonna raise the GG. <laughs> so this does facilitate, because I was thinking, you know, you could go M7 with those two and add a GG back, but I don't going... think that's great. Okay, just going Shen, Shen, Shen pass. instead. That's decent. Alright, this is the greatest chance you're gonna have, Dive Missile. That is very beatable. This is, this is a... You, you have spent the entire tournament beating boards like this one. Okay, tanky for Fractar. And thankfully, you can still get shit into the graveyard by Fractar's effect. I imagine we're sending Nerval here, but if we're not, the game's over. Okay, Nerval. Do we still have a game on our hands? All right, here we go. There's Seras. This, they might have, like, a super late Lancia. Wow, just going for the Seras. Could just be holding Lancia. Oh, we'd have to see it right now. What? This is four in grave. Oh, it's three in grave because it's a fucking spellcaster. DD Crow, the Ching Long, and that is four, baby. Are we striking away the Zhen Zhen? That's devastating. Could There's be strike. just enough. Yeah. That's this is like such a boring ass play. <laughs> Boring, but it works. Yeah, effective, don't get me wrong, but real boring. Hmm. Just thinking about it. Normal navel. Hmm. Normal navel. Huh. I'm trying to think what you are meant to do with this. Two for the flagette. Have okay, something fair else? enough. Oh, they're going to trigger Flagette. Using the effect to summon. All right. It is another Nerval. Another Nerval. Oh, oh and that's Nibiru. five, How baby. How comes Nibiru? Oh, that's five, baby. Ouch. That's miserable, yeah. You don't even get the Nerval. Oh, shouldn't have overextended. Oh, okay, Flagette. <laughs> put, put a bad card on the bottom. Whoa, what? Sorry? Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, it's just one that's sent to the oh, graveyard, right? I never get to see this card activate. It's a second effect. Kinkabio! Have we normaled? We have, right? There's we no did. We normaled, the, we normaled their ball, yeah. But it's good follow-up. They kept Kinkabio, yeah. So I guess we'll just probably have to wait till next turn to do anything. Now, VW has to have a very specific subset of cards mm -hmm. to actually make VW plays, and none are going to be happening. We're attacking over Nibiru. That explains the oh. brick, at least. Didn't draw Chuche either. Wow. So the disruptions are solely hand traps. So I guess Can we're we going. Stop? Oh, <gasps> what an insane That's a sick topic too. rip. Oh, Holy gosh. shit, we've got Nerval and Grave. So Kinkabayo for the Nerval, right? Has to be, right? Yeah. I'm trying to think what the worst possible outcome here is. All right, good. Mm, does Resital do anything here? What is Resital search? Uh, uh, probably not. You can get Sapphire, but you need another material. So it'd be like you can't yeah. Nerval into Nerval either. We're gonna activate Nerval. Can we do four? We probably have to do three here. How right? many do we got? 
We have four. You do have four. They do play two Shrike, but that's, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Shriking the, the nibs just seems uh, Jesus. really bad manners. Oh, well, going we're for doing it. for it. Uh, do we... Here's the question. Do we respect the second Nibiru? Because <laughs> this is number four. Oh. Oh my. There's oh yeah. There's no way, right? Like, if they I mean, Nibiru you, you still get to resolve Nerval. Yes. I do like that that's, like, a good insurance policy. Yeah. Going for Simorg. I like this. Uh, Nerval here. And the second <laughs> fucking rock! Yeah. I mean, it's VW, right? Your hands are gonna look like oh, that. Oh, God. <laughs> you can't play? It's just Nibiru. Of course now, he had it. To be fair, this is still okay. Uh, Shrike again. This is kind of a disaster, if I'm being honest. I guess you can... Did, or do they cheat them out, or do they link them out? No, so they have to be actually set correctly. So, right. you can pitch for Saras, and then make a 3, but the 3 doesn't trade with Nibiru. God, this is hard. Hmm. You can make the... Big Bungus Link to? Looks like that's what oh, we're doing. Oh, the, the one that I can't pronounce, mm -hmm. maybe? There he is. Oh, no, he's just going to Ancient Warrior Link. Okay. We will Ancient Warrior and Link sending send Tanky. Tanky to says, bounce Nib. Have, have the Nibiru, actually. All right, I, I kind of like right. this. Puts him on a one-turn clock. You were never going to have Interruption anyway. Uh, Got to be a very specific two-card hand. You know, one of those two cards is likely dead. Yeah, it, so, could, it could happen. Dive Missile just never going to be playing into Nibiru ever again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Kaloon off the top. And that, oh, oh grabbing Chuche. Chuche. That's cute. That's an interesting one. So what's the last card in hand? I would have thought that would have been... It's Lao Lao. Ching Long. Cause can this bounce any card? Yeah. Yeah. So you know the last card is Nibiru. So you just bounce the Chuche. Bouncing and himself. Game. You have to chain Chuche. You have to pop the fucking Nibiru yeah. token. Then Lao Lao do, refuses yeah. to come out, right? Yeah, but then we see off Keras, right? So that's Do they have material game, engraved? Right? No, they have material engraved. They can just set the Chuche, right? Oh, that's that's true. I didn't look at the rest of the banish. Okay, it's not game yet. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. I got a bit ahead of myself, but yeah. In fact, this is of course a crazy position. I think for the uh, for the VW player. Okay, back in they go. You got to beat Lao Lao. What's in grave for Lao? Lao? Oh, there's good stuff in grave. Okay. Mm -hmm. It have to be Kinkabayo. All right. Yeah, actually, yeah. This is looking a lot worse. <laughs> I did not look at the VW's banished pile. Turns out banishing the Shenchen actually gave the uh, fourth material. <laughs> Hilarious. Ooh, this is. Mm. Mm. What does that get you? That. Link Rebo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that. That's not that good. <laughs> yeah, that's the end of the game. Not even attacking for the 300. Boo. Double Nibiru, my fucking god. Yeah. Oh, and here's good, so now we can get rid of that Nibiru. And we now have access to Lulu Lalo. Yeah, this is, uh, this is this the end of the game. This is <clears throat> very much over. Wow, that's so frustrating. I wonder if they had just stopped on four, if they would have won. Yeah, like, it makes you wonder mm -hmm. like, if, if that would have been good enough. It's certainly arguable. Mm -hmm. All right. And now it is time for that all-important game three. Chat, what do you think? Who's winning? I believe this is the first game in the set that, uh, the tribe brigade or bird up will get to uh, decide, right? Yeah, I imagine you would just pick first, right? Yeah. So, 
That's a promising start. I want VW to win, so I'll have channel points. All right. <laughs> for what it's worth, uh, they're given one to seven odds on the prediction for uh, for Virtual World. Pretty good. <laughs> that's about uh, that's about how often you just draw in playable. Uh huh. And for what it's worth, the only game that Bird Up won, VW drew a dog shit hand. Lao Lao Pass. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's see what the play is. And Fractar number one. Do we have the Lancia? Uh, sending call out so strong. Oh, God. Holy shit. They got everything, huh? Oh, the combo. Oh, wait. Holy shit. This is it, baby. This is the Wombo combo. Let's go. Bringing back the uh, Cobalt Sparrow, then we get a search. <laughs> birds, 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 birds. Uh, this does still lose to Nibiru, however. <laughs> yeah, but uh, let's, I mean, uh... arguably, right? Yeah. Resital, you get Sapphire. Resital. Yep. Yeah, this is a play that we all have come to know. Ash Ooh, Blossom, Ash on Resital. Resital. That's interesting. So we haven't normaled yet. We might have to spend the normal right. on service? Serval? What the fuck was I saying? <laughs> All right. It's definitely not bad for Dive Missile. Yeah. They're going to normal yeah. the Nerval. Oh, and just send it to the grave. Say, no, I'm not doing that shit. Uh, that's Flajet. Getting Seras. Could special it out if we want. Looks like that's what they're thinking about. It's just like better than discarding one, obviously. Saras, we could right. go for three. Get the uh Simorg. Simorg, yeah. That's okay. Is yeah, it's fine, but not game winning by itself. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Saras effect. We'll go for two here. Going for two. Are we doing the Ancient Warrior Link? Gamma. Ooh, Whoa, Gamma, that's big. It's a huge Gamma. We've already used our normal, too. Wow, they opened Ash Gamma. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay. Set one pass. No. Oh, not like this. Question is, is this anti-spell versus a car or handful of spells? It I don't think so. It doesn't look to be anti-spell. Light in the dark. Oh, and Qinglong, uh, DJ Bro Money, thank you for the subscription. No! We're gonna bird down, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Qinglong Ching Lulu. Pretty this is good. indeed a combo. Pretty good. Sending Chuche. Welcome to Bird Down, the worst deck in finals. Sag. Adding uh, Lao Lao, actually, so we have GG, maybe. Wow, that's painful. Fuck. Oh, was oh, that that? You... I screwed that, up. Yeah, that's, oh. the wrong, that's the wrong search if that's your only VW. That is actually big. because Wait, that's devastating. No Where's yeah, the non-tuners? No tuners right now. Yeah, we can Ching Long for it, but... Yeah, that was the... The wrong order there. All right, do we have the Ash Blossom? <laughs> no, I don't know what that set is. To be fair, this still does make uh, VFD, but if that set is called by the grave, then it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is easy. Yeah. Pitching Dark Ruler. Oh, okay, that makes me feel a little better. Yeah, I right, had the outs anyway. Mm -hmm. Gosh, Gamma Ash Dark Ruler. Gamma Ash Dark Ruler. Ching, Ching Long, Long Lulu. Lulu. <laughs> Crazy. Like, un unfucking believable. Sending Kowloon. Interesting. That is weird. It's probably worth it to try and clear the board before going for a Cloud Castle play. I guess so, yeah. Oh, oh we're going for Coral, Coral. Dragon. 
Coral targeting the Double sad attack, card? Really. What on earth? That seems a little crusty. I'm very confused. Oh, oh it's Imperial Warrior. They had so the out to the actually... Dark Rulers. Fuck, no! Yeah. Okay. Utopia Beyond? Am I Okay, so this something? is just going to be a Zeus. Just a big-ass Zeus. Zeus? Yeah, that's all it's going to be. Please tell me KB is at least on Gaia Charger. Well, actually, you don't have to be on Gaia Charger, but at least not on Beatrice. <laughs> It'd be real good here, yeah. Put back the card they drew. Damn fucking right I am, says KB. Let's go. Gaia Charger, the Force of Thunder. Gaia Dragon, the Thunder Charger. All right, so we, we got, got two, two active Zeus. Zeus. Yeah, and we got GG Dad back. Yeah. And we're going to get Ching on Grave whenever we fire off the uh, Zeus. So this is looking pretty grim. This is, yeah, this is real dope. Two cents. Tank use a start. I wonder if you even just do it here. Just like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so it's okay. <laughs> sure. Not going to lie, I lost track of what's in Dive Missile's hand, but. I guess we'll find out soon. Kinkabino. Holy shit, bad. that's crazy. What singular card can play if we get Zeus on resolution of Kinkabio? The Cobalt Sparrow. Like what singular play gets us out of this? Oh, wait, actually it's two cards, because yeah, we do get to trigger the Cobalt, yes. Okay, this could actually be decent. We're we're getting there. TD Crow is quite strong against the Qinglong. Now, I wonder does this deck play the Kiki or Kiki Nagashi Fucho? The bird that's unaffected oh, by card effects? Dude, directly? let's find out. Let's find the fuck out. <laughs> because that is the reason why you want to put Zeus in attack position, by the way, in case you guys are not aware. Oh, they're Zeusing uh, now. It doesn't matter, because we're Zeusing now. Okay. Oh my god, you have got to be fucking with me. That is a singular card that gets you out of this. <laughs> Turk? It was a Turk last card? My word. Yeah, because we saw Didi Crow being searched, so it's... Oh my Tanky, god. Turquoise Warp, and Bio. So we get to go Nightingale, we get in for... Eight. Uh, eight. And then so go for two things six. are important here. If they're playing downward, they win. If they're not, then they aren't dead on the crackback because they'll have to use the battle phase. They can't even use the battle phase if you put it in defense. Holy shit! Did we, are we tricking our way out of this one? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. This is crusty. Regardless, they are on downward. Let's downard. go. <laughs> And we know the cards at hand. It's a Lulu, and then it's a Crow. Oh my god. So we have perfect info, at least right now. Okay. This draw. So uh, it depends on when they want to fire off the DD Crow. I, you probably have to do it now, but it's like, it sucks ass. <laughs> yeah. And so good, goodbye, Qinglong number two. God, I, even if they are able to get through this, you do have to, like, find a Kinkabio or a Tri-Brigade. Like there's a million Basically ways in top to deck mode. Yeah. Uh, and ending oh, turn. Oh, nothing. Wow. Well, you can't really commit to anything. And I, I like I like Dive Missile not firing the Zeus here either. It's like Yeah, definitely. Obviously, why no would you? Point. Because you have the next turn, but like maybe you don't even do it here, right? How much do yeah. you really care about a clock? Yeah, like you really just want to buy time before you actually get your own place started, because it's like an arms race right now. Like both players are trying to just assemble resources. Mm -hmm. And again. We've got the stuff in Grave. It's got to be any tanky, any Tri Brigade does it. Mm -hmm. There's a very, very large pool of cards that gets either player out of this realistically. So for the Bird Up player, it's two Kinkabino and then two of each Tri Brigade because we've used one of each. So... And for VW, we have Kowloon, we have Qinglong. Those are like the best ones. Yeah. Kowloon, of course, is an unfucking believable. 
Of course, we binned one for some reason. We are gonna we are gonna fire off Zeus number one here. So maybe we're going to push. Do we not have a normal? Jesus Christ, that's pathetic. Oh, just getting in for three k. Um, oh my god. It's pressure, but. I mean, it's not even really a two turn, right? You still need to find something. Yeah. And yeah. passing back. What is it? A hand trap? This is actually a nail biter of a final game. Jesus. Oh, oh that's the breaker. That is oh, the breaker. Oh, that could, yeah, that could just uh, destroy this game wide open. Oh, my God. Yikes. What's the best get off it? Kaelun or Chinglong? Ooh. Oh, and because we used the other Zeus last turn, there's just no way around this card now. Oh yeah, my god. This, that, the card in hand for Dive Missile has to be exactly, I think, like Crow or like Lancia or something ridiculous. We're going to Zeus. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. I mean, yeah. I, yeah, you're if right. If we do Zeus, it gets engraved. If we don't Zeus, we have we know Lulu. It hand. is Crow. Oh. It is Crow. It is Crow. Oh, boy. This is... Okay, so what is the other card drawn off of that desires? There's the Lulu. Normal Lulu. Is it double Lulu? Is it a second Lulu? Because that... Now, that's interesting because all three Chinglongs are currently banished. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's Lili. Oh, but Lili's good. Lili's Lili so good. good here. Holy shit. They're sending the Kaelun, yeah, of course. Yeah. Now, we have to just make anything that outs the board, but can we put up any defense? That's the question. Wow, this is a <laughs> this is crazy a nail biter. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, this is this is an insane game. Uh, we don't have like another VW card up because otherwise, then we could go for some more N M7 plays. But I I wonder how much VW shit they still have. Uh, navigating VW games post desires is like so difficult. Yeah, especially when you don't have like Neon to freely rotate. Yeah. Like, Vermilion is a clear path to outing the Zeus. Mm -hmm. And then, like, you can add back, like, maybe a Lalo or something. But it, get, it cuts you also off of just VW cards. You The the play you are wanting to not die to is normal Tri-Brigade Shrike. And that is, like, so it's so fucking hard to play around. <laughs> Like, you have to make a 9 that beats Zeus and doesn't die to that play, and I don't think there is one. I don't think so either. Alright, Chuche time. Okay, so we're going to lower Lili. We can go into... the... the 6? We went through Coral already. Sure. We're going Juju. Juju's fine. We do have targets for it. Yeah, Juju's good, but not against uh, not against Strike. I mean, it, this puts him on has to have Tri Brigade, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Gotta have it, Dive Missile. What does the top of your deck hold? Now, this is pretty decent because it keeps a VW name on the board so that any top deck VW can still target it, which is good, but... Yeah, it's both players still very much in a top deck war. Oh no! Set. Oh pain, suffering even. Any two hundred more damage wins the game. That'll now. do it. That's that's two hundred. Wait, what is in the graveyard? Oh god, at a pro, please let me look at it. I can't. All right. Uh, it's. I want to see if there was a. Oh yeah, there's quite a lot. Oh my god, and this All is right. gonna be it. Looks like Johnny Mirror Force one time. <laughs> it has to be storming nope. or bust. <laughs> oh dive missile. What is the set? <laughs> it's probably oh. droplet. <laughs> I wish I could have used my summoning chant for final sigma here. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, oh! <laughs> Bird oh, all the way down. It hey, it's the worst deck in finals. 
Holy shit, Sad. and that is gonna be it. VW, your tournament victor after a an unbelievable run from Dive Missile. But honestly, good to see Good Decks winning, you know? Yeah, for sure. I mean, that match did not go as I think most people would have expected. Game one was literally Lalo Pass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man. That, I... Yeah, that game three, though, was just marked with all sorts of cool interaction. And it was back and forth all the way through. Most importantly, there was no VFD at any point. Yeah, and VFD didn't hit the board a single time. So oh, if anything, man. this shows that that card should have gotten hit because this deck is clearly still good.